Well, Fish and Game says that bodies of water, rivers in particular, can get very dangerous after a heavy rain. The currents get stronger, and even an experienced swimmer can run into trouble. From the Merrimack River to Lake Winnipesaukee, it's been a dangerous year on the water. Thirteen drownings up until now, the most recent on Tuesday. The average is eight or nine a year, and with more warm weather to come, New Hampshire Fish and Game officials fear the numbers will keep rising. People just need to understand that when they give out warnings on weather, that those warnings need to be heeded because we've lost people be directly because of weather-related incidents. There have been four drownings in the Merrimack alone, from Concord to Manchester. In June, a man and his stepson went under in Penacook after some heavy rain. And experts say whether you are a strong swimmer or not, you can't mess with a fast-flowing river. Us, with all the training that we get, there are, there are dive missions we won't, we won't allow them to go in. You know, the conditions just don't, they don't, they're not safe enough, so we're going to take that risk. Colonel Jordan says, along with drownings, people have gotten themselves into trouble hiking, once again taking chances in risky weather. When you get a high wind warning like we had this past uh, two days ago, and people go above tree line, they, get, they need to understand that high wind down here is dangerous. Above tree line is treacherous. You know, you can't survive it. You can't function in it. Um, it'll blow you over, it'll take away your vision, and that's what happened to those young men up on Mount Madison. That group was rescued, but Fish and Game says whether it's water or the woods, the increased need for their help is taking its toll. Officers are spending up to 18 hours on calls and sometimes get two calls coming in at once. When you have a, an agency like ours, a small agency with 37 total officers in the field and they're covering 285 towns, you're stretching the resources pretty thin. Now, another problem people run into are brooks that they encounter while hiking. It may be small during their first pass, but on their way back, it may have risen dramatically, and taking a chance crossing it could prove treacherous. Reporting live, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.